Low lacrosse fans from the Coquitlam Rec Center is BC Junior A Lacrosse with the hometown Coquitlam Annex playing the expansion Port Coquitlam Saints. And Don, what we can look forward to in this lacrosse game? Well, tonight? Gordon, Port Coquitlam started up their season against the Coquitlam Annex, and it was a great game. It was a good, tough game all the way, and it ended up in an 8 8 tie. And I think we can look for the same thing tonight. Both these teams know each other, and they played well. Coquitlam is uh, the senior team, but Poco was off to a great start. So I think we're looking for an exciting game. Well, that's right, Don. Poco has a record of 3-0-2. Uh, and two. Coquitlam's 2-3-1. and one. Uh, Coquitlam's got a run-and-gun team that stresses offense, and the Saints stress defense. So we should be in for a good lacrosse Yeah, we game. should see some good goaltending tonight, too. Yeah. Play underway. The Saints have the ball. Dene, number 10, shoots, and Williams is... Uh, no, it's not Williams. It's Garrett in goal for the... Garrett Burnett is in goal for the Adnax. And that's a bit of a surprise because they've been alternating their goalies. And uh, Ryan Williams is scheduled to start, but he's not. In goal for the Saints is Rodney Berkey, the top goaltender in the league. There's a chance right in. They score! Number 13, Konopolis makes it one to nothing. And that came only that's after 40 seconds of play, Don. It's a great goal, Gordon, but uh, the, Quitlam, the Port Coquitlam defense, they forgot to pick up the man in front, and he's standing right in front of the goalie. The goalie had no chance on it, just a great shot, just in over the, the glove side. Well, I know the uh, coach, uh, one of the coaches for the uh, Saints, Harry Preston, the defensive coach, will be extremely unhappy with that goal, Don, because uh, they play a zone defense, and the zone completely broke down. Yeah, it, it was wide open in front of the net. Play underway again. Bardai going after the ball. Picks it up for the Adnax. Drops it. Picked up by Harris. Gaster and Bardai picked up the assist on the goal. So the Adnax take an early one to nothing lead. And they've got the ball. Gaster takes a shot. Berkey stops it. It's in his leg pad. He picks up the ball. Flips it out to Captain Steve Penner, number 17, big guy. Passes over to Brian Dales. Brian Dales, number 23 for the Saints, Boko Saints. There's a pass in front to Downey. Uh, Mark, Mark Downey, there's two Downeys playing in this game. There's a pass into Penner, right in. And he shot over the net. Burnett picks the ball up. Burnett clips it off to Konopla, who scored the early goal. Give the Adnax a one to nothing lead. Here comes Wallsmith, Darren Wallsmith, the big rookie for the Adnax. Adnax got some great rookies again. It looked like they're going to be a very fine lacrosse team as they've been for the last five or six years. Here's Murray coming, just coming back his first game after a serious knee injury, Bruce Murray. So they're really looking forward to having him. There's a shot stopped by Berkey. Puck ball is loose. And it's going to be a turnover. It's going to be an interference call against the Saints. Wallsmith out to Murray. Murray. Sitting outside the zone, gives it to Bradley. Bradley in the corner to Nishimura. His pass was knocked down, but the Adnax keep the ball. Here's Bradley's shot, went wide. Ball bounces loose, picked up now by Penner. And the Saints make a line change. I think the Saints are going to slow this game down a little bit, Gordon. I think that first early goal upset them, and they're going to go a little slower than they, uh, they anticipated. Jeff Fernquist, number 25 for the Adnax, another Poco boy. Most of this team is made up of Poco boys. Aikman puts the ball out to Brad Downey, making his first appearance in a Saints uniform. He has been playing field lacrosse okay. in Whittier. Here's Bruce Murray by himself, she takes a shot. Berkey gobbles that up easily. Rodney Berkey has been outstanding in his last two games. He's been great all season, leading the league in goaltending. Gives it Aikman now, takes that long pass. Quigley cuts in front of Aikman. Aikman being watched by Jansen, number 27. Aikman in the corner, hit by Jansen. Jansen works him over and puts the ball out to Quigley. Quigley now with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Fernquist in a position to shoot. Now he puts a little flip pass in there. There's a shot, nice shot by Downey. Stopped by Garrett or Burnett. Quigley now for the Saints, trying to work his way in. Holding the ball. Now he passes off to Aikman. Aikman tries to beat Walker. Takes a shot, stopped by big goaltender Burnett. Garrett Burnett, he's a huge goaltender, Don. He's a big boy, he covers a lot of the net. He was in the net the first game when the Saints tied the Adnax 8-8 in the Saints opening game in the BC Junior Lacrosse League. Coming out of the corner with a ball right in front, shoots, nice chance by Harrison. Stopped the game by the goaltender Burnett. There's Quigley going through, he's hit with a good check from Neufeld. 
Ball's loose, picked up by Brunette. Brunette fires the ball up to Walker. And this young Walker, number 12, Tyler Walker is a very impressive rookie, Don. He's only a first-year intermediate player. He's only 17, and he's looked very good for the Adnax early on. There's a bad pass by Lawson, but the Saints get it back. Jake Lawson, who played in the Nanaimo last year, Don, he scored 74 goals in intermediate, so Looked he's, pretty good in the first games he He's played. the uh, Saints' leading goal scorer. He has 10 goals. Here's a shot by Radcliffe. Oh, it just rolled. Burnett didn't know where it was, but he stopped it. There's a long pass. Comes down to Gaster. Gaster puts the ball in front. There's a shot goes wide by Konopliff. And Gordon, Saint that long shot almost got in, and that was what the Saints were scoring on in the first game they played. The long shots were going in. Anything in close, this big boy was covering the net. Now Lawson with the ball. Jake Lawson watched by Barde. Radcliffe sets a pick. There's a chance. Shot stopped by Burnett. Now Barde starts back. There's a boy coming out of the box. Quick pass to him. He's going in and shoots. Scores! Clear boy from Barde and it's 2-0. That was a, it, it's a great shot, Gordon, but a bounce shot went right up through the legs, but the Polka Saints are, are uh, negligent in getting back in time to pick up that man coming out of the box and a two-on-one break, and then Poy goes in alone on the goaltender, and the goaltender has no chance, but up through the number five hole. And here comes the replay right now. They're trying to get back, but they're just a little too late, a little too slow, and a nice bounce right up through the legs. Well, Don, the uh, Saints are undefeated after five games. A lot of people are expecting them to fall. And tonight could be the night, the way they've started out here. The Saints are going to get the ball. They trail 2-0 as Konopliff and Poy have scored for the Adnax. Penner now gives the ball into the corner to Mark Downey. Mark Downey back to Penner. Penner being checked by Wallsmith. There's a pass over to Dales. Dales comes in, shoots right at Burnett. He makes an easy save. Picked up by Murray. Murray flips the ball off to Newfelt. Newfelt. Down the right wing with the ball. Watched by Dales. Puts it in front. Shot. Nice stop off Jansen. Another shot. Another good stop. It's Buckaroos. Or, or Buckaroos. I was thinking of hockey, Don. The Saints are, are uh, checking. It's pretty sloppy here. I know their coaches aren't going to be very happy with the way they are checking. There's a shot by Newfelt. Another good stop by Berkey. Berkey, I think he's into the game now. I think those first two goals have upset him, but instead of getting down, he's decided to get into this game, and he's made three good stops since the goals went in. Now Fernquist, he juggles that ball at center floor. It looked like he wanted to pass it, but he didn't do it. Now Harrison trying to bore in. There's a shot stopped by Burnett again. Now he flips it off to Walker. Tyler Walker, number 12. He throws the ball down the boards. It gets away. Harrison goes after it, picks it up. Barde checks him. Harrison keeps the ball. Throws it up to Brad Downey. <coughs> Brad Downey, his final year of Junior A lacrosse. The Saints hope they can get some offense going for him. There's a shot, goes out. Now Burnett's long shot down, or pass down the floor to Barde. Coming down, in, in loose his rope, rope shot. He just missed. Corey Rope, another fine rookie for the Adnax. Wallsmith in the corner. Coming right out in front, scores, but He's it's waved crease. off. But again, Don, but the, lucky. the Saints' defense was yeah. very weak and very poor. They're allowing Wallsmith to walk out of the corner. I think Wallsmith was surprised at the room that he was given on that play. Now the Saints coming back. There's a pass. Radcliffe was open, and a pass went over his head from Denae. Ball goes in the corner. Radcliffe hits Konopliff. Konopliff is being worked over. They battle in there as... Butler is in there fighting for it too. Now we get a whistle and it's going to be Saints ball. Good work by Corey Butler and Jeff Radcliffe to come up with that ball. Corey Butler, who's a Kukutlan boy, puts the ball out to Kelly Scott. Scott getting set, getting set, shoots. And he missed the net. Ball bounces out of the crease. Burnett comes out of his crease. Garrett Burnett. He's a very mobile goaltender, Gordon, for a big boy. He goes up the floor and he's, uh, he's part of the offense when he gets the, the ball. He's a great passer. Now we see the uh, Saints are setting a man in behind the net to try to break this zone. They've done pretty good so far. There's a pass coming through. Berkey gets it. Saints break quick. Scott drops the ball, goes after it, drops it again. Ball bouncing loose and it's turned over. And here comes Murray. As Kelly Scott had all kinds of trouble picking that ball up. It was a good pass. He should have had it. Here's Jansen. 
Kenny says shoots, missed the goal. Now Burnett comes racing out of his goal to pick up the ball. There's 15 seconds on the shot clock. Patterson puts the ball into Jansen, across to Newfelt. Martin fires the ball across, misses Patterson. Patterson gets a loose ball, four seconds. And the ball bounces loose. And the Saints will take over. Well, Adnax too. Poco Saints. The Saints no are going to pick up their game a little bit. The loose balls are all going to the Adnax, and the Adnax are doing a very good job of controlling this game up to this time. DC Junior A Lacrosse on Rogers Fraser Four, the Community Sports Channel. There's a pass into Downey. Downey's in the crease. Downey pushes Newfelder, pushes him back, and the Adnax come up with the ball. Patterson, Kevin Patterson, to Bardai. Bardai's insistent on both goals. He's one of the top assist. Man in the league, Don. There's Knopfleth, puts it in the corner. The Adnax moving the ball around very well. Here's Barney shot. Stopped shot. easily by Berkey. Just gobble that shot up. Flips it off to Brian Dales. Coming down here is Brian Dales with the ball. Over to Sanch. Chase Shantz. He's from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Don. Playing his first year of box lacrosse. He's already scored one goal. Downey missed the pass from Mark Downey missed the pass from Penner. There's now we're going to get high a penalty. penalty. Mark Downey looks like he's getting it. High sticking. Barty's down on the floor. They, they, they called that because I think the referee felt that the, the player down was injured. Normally they let the play go on, but the player's down. He looks like he's been he's been injured, and Downey's coming to the penalty box. Uh, it, it didn't look too bad, but it's it's one of those things. The stick got up high, came over the top, and he gave him a little shot in the back of the head. Well, Don, Don between the first and second Mark period, you're going to be interviewing Mark Newfeld from the Adnax, and he's had a great season so far. He's just been outstanding. He's probably been the Adnax's best two-way player. Yeah, in one game already this year, he's got a hat trick uh, in this early part of the season. He's played extremely well. So the Adnax are on a power play. They've got a good one. Saints lose the faceoff. The Adnax take over. They lead two to nothing and seem to be in control of this game. Here's Corey Rope. Flips it off to Jansen who sets it up. Rope shooting on the left side. Back to Rope. There's a there's Dales taking that ball away. Coming down the floor. Brian Dales. Watched by Jansen. He's hit from behind. Dales still got the ball. Dales now throws it back neatly to Fernquist. In front, there's a shot. There's going to be a penalty. penalty. For Baltzer is going to get a penalty for Penner. And Don, some great work by Brian Dales. Yeah, he did an excellent job. And he paid attention. He knows where his players are. He was able to move that ball off, even though he was covered by uh, two Adnacks. Well, Don, I, I, you know, I often make predictions. And I predict number 23 for the... Saints, Brian Dales is going to be one of the top defensive okay, players okay, in Junior yeah. A lacrosse. Real tough. Brian he was able to hold the stick away. and He's checking. a great checker. On that faceoff now, Quigley goes after it. Can't put the ball bouncing loose. Two Adnax in there. Neufeld picks it up. Now Quigley hits him. So the, Saint, uh, the Adnax take over. Saints having problems on the faceoff, Don. They've got uh, big Dene that takes the faceoffs, but he hasn't taken many of them. No, and but the Adnax are uh, their game's a little higher right now than Poco, and they're moving the ball around very fast, and they're a little more into it. There's a goaltender Berkey making a nice recovery. There's a long pass to Brad Downey. Oh, he, he should have had that. Hit pass, him on the, huh? the hit him the right chest. in the chest. It's a perfect. <laughs> oh, pass. nice takeaway. It's a perfect pass, and uh, Brad Downey, who hasn't has been playing field lacrosse in Whittier in California, has hasn't played box lacrosse for a long time, and. Uh, he hasn't played any lacrosse for three weeks, so he looked a little rusty on that pass. There's a shot, picked off. Now back comes Radcliffe, Jeff Radcliffe. Comes down with Walker to beat Radcliffe, comes right in, bores in, scores, oh, great, great goal! goal. Oh, Jeff Radcliffe good. makes it two to one. That should pick up the Polka Saints. They, uh, they needed that. It was a great breakaway pass from their own end zone. He just moved on in and he had great determination to beat one player and put a great shot in there. Well. We're Here comes the replay right now, and you'll see that, that Radcliffe, when he gets the ball, just a, uh, it was a little late on the replay, but that you can see that he was covered by two or three players and he beat his way in. Well, that's Jeff Radcliffe's sixth goal of the season, Don. He's tied, uh, he's tied for the uh, team scoring. Actually, he'll take over with that point. But he's been a great goal scorer in every division he's played on. Uh, oh. There's another goal by Walker through Berkey's legs. Yeah, that's number two down and through that leg. makes it three to one. 
That's the second goal that's went through Berkey's legs. I believe we'll have Jeff Radcliffe as well as the interview between the second that's and the right. third period. Yeah, that's right. So, so we'll be able to talk to him. He's so going gonna to be one of the top rookie pr candidates for Rookie of the Year. There's so many great rookies in this league, Don, that uh, it's going to be hard to pick one. Ooh. But he'll be a candidate. Belgay, Kyle Belgay, who played in Victoria last year, has got the ball. Ball's loose. Score right now loose. is 2-1. Uh, 3-1. Three, three, two three Walker, the assistant number 20. Blair Bradley, and number one, the goaltender, Garrett Burnett. Coming Burnett goal, picks up an one. assist on that last goal, so the Adnacks get their two-goal lead back. They're ahead 3-1. Four on four. Now the Saints have an extra man. They're going to try and check Newfelt, who's not gets his stick knocked out of his hands. Picked up now. Now we're going to see what happens here with the Adnac or the Saints power play. Belgay, he's on that power play. Slows it down. Flips it over to Downey. Downey across to Belgay. Belgay shoots. Oh, nice shot. Just stopped by Burnett. He got his arm on it. it was going in the corner. Here's Lawson getting set. Shoots. Nice stop by Burnett again. The ball's loose again. Picked up by Lawson. Lawson. Hit by Murray from behind. Murray tries to stay after him. He does. Lawson flips the ball in. Bell, the shot. Sanch is out there. He couldn't come up with it. The ball goes loose to Baltzer. Radcliffe tries to pick it up. And the Adnacks outwork the Saints on the loose ball. Here's Patterson on a quick break. Poi coming with him. And uh, we're going to get a penalty call to uh, call it for slashing. Number Rad, Rad Downey, I believe. Number 12, Brad Downey's picking up the penalty for slashing. And so... Uh, a bit of a soft penalty. I, I think the referee decided that the game was getting a little rough, but that was a... He just reached around, and I guess he slapped him on the upper part of the arm rather than on the on the stick. On that face-off. And uh, I don't know... Uh, Upper penalty, number 12. Uh, uh, Saints lost another face-off. Fernquist, uh, Jeff Fernquist is getting eight alive on those face-offs by the Adnax, Don. He hasn't won one yet. Here's... Rope in the corner to Knopliff. He beat his man. Nice stop Great by Burke. Stop. He got his arm on it. Danae hit him. Now Dales passes to Quigley. Quigley down the middle to Fernquist. Fernquist coming in. Fakes. Makes a nice move. Oh, nice back pass. Oh, nice stop as Radcliffe. Beautiful play by Jeff Fernquist. Almost, Radcliffe so almost had a second goal. Charged with too many men on the floor at that time, Gordon. That was a real strange change. The referee just hollered at the bench but didn't call the penalty. Well, it's 115 on that penalty to the Brad Downey of the Saints. Here's Jansen over to Bardai. Bardai across to Rope. Rope back to Jansen. Jansen getting set. He shoots. Scores! And he beat Berkey on the bottom yeah. corner. And low it's 4 to 1. Yeah, the low shots are going in. But that's a great power play. They, they come down. They set it up very, very well. Move the ball around. And then Jensen saw he was given the, he was given the zone. He was given the shot. And he took it and made a great shot. Yeah, that beat Berkey low, and uh, I don't know if we're going to see. I don't know what will happen here, but the definitely here's this. Back they come again, the Adnax, Waltzman. The assistant number eight, Yeah, there's the third assist for Bardai. Ball's loose, Waltzman. And as you said earlier, Don, the Adnax are just out working the Saints for every loose ball. The Saints haven't got any loose balls at all. There they, Adnax get another loose ball. Here's Poi trying to take a shot. Murray, he lost the ball temporarily. He hacks Dene, comes up with a the ball. There's it right in front of his open is Nishirama, Nishirama, but his the red light went on, but I don't know if it's going I to don't be a think goal. that ball went in. I don't think so, Don. The Nishimura, oh, the Nishimura is calling it a goal. And it's five to one. The goal judge said he uh, it went in, and, but uh, I, I Strange, I think we're gonna have a goaltending change, Gordon. Well, we're gonna have a replay. Let's have a good look at this one, Don. Nishi, Nishimura is wide open on the edge He's, of the crease. He throws it in on the stick side, but it... Oh, we can't tell no, from that replay, really, if it was in or not. Yeah, the Saints are making a change. They're bringing in Regan Stidoff to back up Turkey. Uh, <laughs> number seven, Tosh Nishimura. The assistant number 10, Bruce Murray. Down the goal, 13 43. So Nishimura gets that and goal. Now going goal for Coco, number one, Reagan Stidall. Well, you know, Gordon, this is uh, sort of what we expected of the uh, Coco Saints when they first started in the league, but they started off 
so t so powerful with not losing a game in five, and maybe reality come in. They are a new team, and and they're coming into Coquitlam's arena, a arena that they've probably played in a lot of times. But they're coming in as a as a rookie team, and they, and they'll settle down. I don't uh, in a lacrosse game, a five one uh, goals difference is nothing. Well, like I said, Don, everybody's been waiting for their bubble to burst. They're undefeated after five games. And it uh, looks like tonight could be the night, uh, the way they well, started. Well, Gordon, I got the stops down at 12 to 8, so I think that the Poco Saints are getting the shots away. They're just, uh, they're not hitting them yet, and I think they settled down and put a few of those away. I, they were a little luckier when they played uh, their home game, and they stayed, it was in the second period, I believe, that the uh, Coquitlam Adnex pulled ahead, but the Saints were able to catch it up in the last part of the game and played a, an excellent game. While the Adnax win tonight, they'll uh, move within one point of the Saints. Uh, Saints got some tough games coming up. They play New Westminster Sound Bellies tomorrow night. And uh, maybe we can have a look at this uh, at the league standings, Gordon. Well, yeah, we can see that the South Fraser team is uh, is currently in first place. I guess that's yeah. the team to beat this year. Yeah, they they haven't lost a game. They're undefeated. But it's surprising that uh, New Westminster hasn't played as well as we expected. I think. Well, they haven't played that many games, Don. They're two one and uh, two one and one. So uh, you know they're behind the other teams. They've got a couple games in hand, and I think they're going to start going. Their coach left the team, Stan Stewartson, um, and I think they're going to get things back on track in U.S. Minister. I think Sam Bellies will be there when uh, the dust clears on the faceoff. Now Danae gets that faceoff. Scott gets it, Kelly Scott, number four, gives it to big. Scott Denae played with the newest Mr. Sam Bellies last year in the middle cup team. Big guy, he's playing his final year of lacrosse with the Poco Saints, providing some, there's a bad pass to Murray. Murray picks it off. Three on one. Three on one, Lawson stays in the middle. Nice play by Lawson to knock the shot down. Didn't even get a shot on goal. Denae picks up the ball. 5.45 to go in this first period. Coquitlam Adnax 5, Port Coquitlam Saints 1. It's been all Adnax in this first period as they've driven goaltender Rodney Berkey from the nets. There's another bad pass by Penner. And nothing's going right to the Saints. Little lack of concentration. Walker now, Tyler Walker, very fine rookie, young player, playing very well. He's got a goal tonight. Passes off. To Newfelt, Newfelt cuts into the middle, passes back to Patterson. Patterson scored a lot of goals for the Adnax this year. There's a pass into Martin. Belgay checks him, the ball bounces loose. Shantz picks it up for the Saints. Shea Shantz. Looking for somebody to pass to. Switches hands, gives it to Penner. Penner comes in now, comes in on goal, passes off, but it's a bad pass again by Penner. Downey comes up with it in the corner with two men on him. Comes out in front. Shoot, scores! Oh, great great goal. goal by Downey. That's just Mark Downey. All I individual said, effort. I'm getting, I'm getting mixed up. The two Downeys are playing. The two brothers. Mark Downey scores a great goal to make it five to two. And that just was a great effort. The goaltender came out because he thought the ball was loose. And he was able to get it into the empty net. And that's Mark Downey's third goal this season, Don. Here comes it on the replay. Bad pass into the corner, but Downey will save the ball right here. Two players on him. Two players on him. Beats the goaltender yeah. into the net. Saints get that face off again. There's a pass into Konopliff. Konopliff is hit by Fernquist. Gets away from him. Passes in front. Bardai couldn't get his shot away. Ball's loose. Now it's picked up by Konopliff. Konopliff feeds the middle. Nice stop. Still all stop that shot. Gaster in behind there with a the ball. Out to another shot, another stop. Ball goes to Rope. Rope being hit by Quigley. He's getting a penalty. I don't know about that one, Don, but he's giving him a penalty. It this must be for cross-check. Hitting, hitting from behind. I'd like I think. to see that one on the replay, Don. Quigley, Dar Dalen Quigley going to the penalty no, box. The, 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 it's, it's unfortunate they didn't get that replay on that one, Gordon, but uh, uh, this referee's called that little close. Now, George Morno, I haven't seen him do a lacrosse I'm glad game to see that uh, Stidoff so. got uh, two saves in his last little flurry before the power play because he's, he got, he's, at least he's into the game. I don't know why they got the ball. I don't know why they got the ball, Don. Again, I don't know why they were awarded the ball instead of a faceoff. 
Corporal Kelly, number 15, Maybe, Williams, maybe call it a, a back check. Checking, from, checking from behind and the but player didn't have the ball. No, it doesn't matter. Still, it <laughs> should be a face-off. Should be a face-off. Now he's facing Now they're the calling off. a face-off because yeah. neither referee knew no. who the ball went out of bounds off. Fernquist battling for that ball, but he loses it. Still fights for it. Stays That's after it. Good work it. by Jeff Fernquist. Rope goes back to his own end to pick up the ball. Now Jansen over to Bardai. Back to Jansen. Pass goes, comes off the boards to Rope. Back to Jansen. Adnack shoot. They missed the net by Newfeld. Adnacks already have uh, one power play goal. There's Jansen. There's Knopfliff. Drops the ball. Penner hits him. Knopfliff across. Ball bounces into the corners. Three seconds on the shot clock. There's a shot. Stidolf blocks the ball. Picks it up. Saints come up with it. There's a pass to center floor to Radcliffe. Radcliffe hit by Baltzer. Radcliffe now has got three Adnacks on him. Jeff Radcliffe. Holds that stick in neatly, goes down the right boards. He's being worked over by Baltzer and Martin. Still Radcliffe doing a great job of killing off the penalty. It's over a minute to go. Radcliffe comes out in front of the net. Still Radcliffe getting set. He drops, he's hit. He There's going to the be a penalty. penalty. Well, great effort. work by Jeff Radcliffe. And uh, Don, you'll have a chance to talk to this kid. And, uh, you know, I, I've said it before, if this was uh, junior hockey, this Radcliffe kid would probably be a millionaire because uh, he's a natural goal scorer. Oh, yeah. he, he scores. And as, as a goal scorer, he was he played really tough there. He held on to the ball, held on the ball, and showed great poise and got in front of the net. And they had to take a penalty or he would have had a great shot on goal. Well, he led the Intermediate League in scoring last year, and he was their MV, the MVP of the league also. Ball's bouncing loose. Wallsmith picked up the penalty. Now the Adnacks come back. Both teams a man short. Nishimura across to Patterson. Stidolf grabs that ball in his crease, flips it off to Stubbley, Andrew Stubbley. Cross back to the goaltender. He throws it down the floor, and that's going to be a bad pass. Except Scott stay, goes after it. It's still bouncing loose. It's picked up by Patterson. <coughs> Both teams a man short. Kevin Patterson, very speedy little forward who scores a lot of goals on a quick break. They're just hanging on to the ball. Now the pass goes in behind a bad pass. Stubbley picks it off. Now. Stubbley races up at his bench. The Saints bench is saying, hold up, hold up. You're going to have a power play. Now here comes the first Saints power play. Oh, no, they had a brief one before, Don, actually. Again, Gordon, there was a, a strange change that the referees allowed the Adnex. Well, there's a fancy pass by into the crease to Radcliffe. And Burnett knocks the net off. Well, he should get a face off on that one. We yeah. see Brad, Brad down, he's coming out to replace Scott. On that last play, Gordon, the man going to the bench made the check while the man coming off the bench was going on the floor, so there really was two men. In, but the referees are not watching, I'm, I'm surprised, because they're, they're normally uh, very good at that. Belgay gets the face off. Radcliffe shovels it back to Lawson, and then Radcliffe's hit by Baltzer. Now Downey sets up the power play. For the Saints to Lawson. Lawson over to Downey. Downey shoots. Nice stop by Burnett. Downey's got a great long shot. Burnett stopped that one. Now the ball comes down. There's a good hit by Downey. Brad Downey goes after Walker. Walker does a good job. Hangs on to the ball. Now two Saints hit him in the corner. Still got the ball. Now it drops it. Picks it up again. Delgay swings at the man. Walker doing a great job. Still Walker spins away. Still Walker. Now he fires it over to Knopfler. Knopfler watched by Harrison. And the penalty's over now. The ball bounces loose. Harrison trying to pick it up. He's hit by Patterson. Ball bounces loose. Still Harrison. Good hustle. Picks it up. Comes down the floor. Less than a minute to go. There's a pass to Lawson. Lawson out in the middle. Cuts in. There's a chance right in front for Radcliffe. Oh, nice stop by Burnett. Now it's picked up by Baltzer. Another, another penalty, penalty to the Adnax. Radcliffe called another, pulled another penalty as he yeah. broke in. Yeah, Burnett's having a word when Burnett's a very big, colorful goaltender. He likes to swing his stick a lot, and he uh, likes to talk a lot. Yeah, he gets a little excited. I believe that he got a five-minute major in the last game these two teams played. But he's, uh, he's in the game, and he's, and he's a strong player. 
37 seconds to go in this first period. Coquitlam Adnax 5, Poco Saints 2. Poco Saints on the power play. Radcliffe, or uh, Fernquist picked up that ball and brought it all the way back and dropped it. Now Saints, the chance for one shot here, a little less than Brad Downey. Across to Lawson, back to Brad Downey. Downey missed the pass. Away. And there's nine seconds. Stidoff picks up the ball, flips it to Downey. He's got three seconds. There's a shot. Oh, it hit the Baltzer. And there's five seconds. It was a great shot too, Gordon. Baltzer got in the way. The goaltender wasn't there. And this is gonna run out the first period. And there's well, the buzzer. So the score after one period of play, the Coquitlam Saints five. The Poco Saints 2. Stand by. We'll be right back with an interview with Mark Neufeld from the Adnax. I sing about love, I sing about pain, but now I want to speak about hope. I'm Celine Dion. The pain of cystic fibrosis has touched my family too, as it's touched the lives of so many for so long. But special miracles are showing us every day that all things are possible with your caring and your love. Please help us. Just imagine the song of joy we can sing when we can look into the eyes of a friend like Chanel and say, hey, we've won. Welcome, lacrosse fans, to my first period intermission. I have with me Mark Newfield of the Coquitlam Adlax. And Mark, this is a little different game than the first one you played against the Poco Saints. Yeah, uh, first coming out, we I think we underestimated them a lot. We, uh, you know, they're a first-year team or whatever, and I think a lot of guys had in their head that it was going to be a cakewalk, but that wasn't the case, obviously. But you're, you're playing with a lot of confidence, and even in the first game, you, you played with confidence, and just that they came on. But here in this game, you've got total control, and you're getting to the ball first. Yeah, that's a big part of our game is loose balls, and Frank, our coach, stresses that we've got to pick up the loose balls, and I think that period was the best period we've had for getting the loose balls. This is your senior year with the, with the juniors. Uh, are, are you hoping to be drafted this year to go on to play, and who would you like to play for? Uh, I, hopefully I get drafted by anybody. I'll play for anybody. Uh, I got a lot of friends with the Surrey Burrard, so I would like to play there because I know a lot of people, but I'll basically play anywhere I get drafted to. But you do want to continue on playing. Are you thinking about going on to U.S. ball or college, or are you going to stay here in, in uh, B.C.? Uh, I think my plans right now are to stay around here and just play in the WLA, hopefully, and just stick around here going to school. So. Well, I think there's no doubt the fact that you'll be get, uh, drafted in the WL. It's just a matter of where and, and yeah. when, because uh, the Adnex have players, though, on all, all the teams. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. So if I get drafted by any team, I'll know at least I won't be, you know, clueless on anybody. I'll know a couple people, because Adnex usually bring out a lot of talent in the draft. So. But you say in the program that Kyle Cooling is the man that you look up to. Yeah, and yeah. You see, would it be great to be play with him? Yeah, well, it would be great to play with the Salmon Bellies. Uh, Kyle is my idol. He's the best guy for loose balls. He's a defensive specialist. That's how I want to, you know, I play up to him and stuff. So, so that's yeah. what you figure your game is to get the loose balls. You're scoring. you got one hat trick so far this year. How many goals you got so far? Uh, actually, i got two hat tricks this year. Oh, you know, they know, says one. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, don't, uh, they don't come too often for me. So I, I think I've got about eight or nine goals this year. But uh, my role has changed a bit this year. I used to be a like, more defensive player, and now Frank has asked me to step it up on offense a bit. So far, so good. So I'll hopefully keep it up. Yeah, you mentioned Frank, your head coach. He's a great coach, and he's brought these uh, junior Adnacks a long ways in a few years. He has one chance for the Minto Cup. And what about this year? Is there a chance for the Minto Cup? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's our goal from the day one of training camp was first to win, get into the playoffs and the next thing to win the Minto Cup. And Frank, I've said many times, is the class of the league, and I think he's the guy that could take us to the top. Well, Mark, there's not much time left this period. I want to thank you for coming up here for this interview. And let's go back, and uh, we'll be back right back with the second period of the Coquitlam Ad Adnax against the Poco Saints. Play underway here in the second period with the Adnax leading the Saints 5-2. to two. The Saints had the ball but threw it away. Now Bardai getting set, fakes. <coughs> he kills off penalty time, throws it in the corner. There's a pass right in front of shot, went wide from Rope. 
now finally Harrison picks it up for the Saints. They have 43 seconds on this power play, and the Saints' power play has not been good tonight, uh, Don, maybe because Brad Downey's first game with the team is not uh, used to these guys. Here's a shot by Lawson, way wide, racing after the loose ball. Stidolf comes out of his head to get it. Now he looks down the floor, he throws it down to Lawson. Lawson, nice pass across to Butler. Oh, Butler missed it, nice shot, he missed the net. Yeah, Ball's they, loose, Barnai picks it up. Two on one for the Adnax. Only player back is Downey. There's a pass and uh, Walker missed it. Stidolf comes out of his net to grab that ball. Flips the ball down to Lawson. Lawson going down the four now. He's got two men to beat as the Adnax get back. The penalty's over. And another uh, squandered power play for the Adnax. Here's Radcliffe getting hit by Gaster. Jeff Radcliffe coming down the middle. Brad Downey shoots. And it's a nice stop by Burnett. He stopped that one easy. Ball rolls loose, picked up by Murray. Back to Burnett. Burnett, watched by Downey, goes for a line for a change. Blair Bradley has the ball, number 20 for the Adnax. Another rookie. Adnax are loaded with good rookies. Here's Murray's pass into the corner. Nishimura, Nishimura puts it out in front. Ball goes loose, Radcliffe. Trying to get a breakaway. He does. Radcliffe, well, he's bobbling that ball. He's still bobbling it. Can't come up with it as Bradley's right on him. But now Radcliffe takes it in behind the goal. 17.42 to go in the second period. The Colton Adnax 5, Boko Saints 2. There's a pass picked off. A bad play by Radcliffe. Foy picks it off. Nishimura going in the clear, right in on goal, shoots. Nice stop nice by Stidolf, got his right shoulder on that one. Now it's picked up by Corey Butler. Butler flips the ball off to Harrison. Harrison starts out. Harrison. Baltzer watching him. Ryan Baltzer, 14 for the Adnax, a great checker. One of the hardest checkers in the league. Now Mark Downey with that ball, watched by Patterson. Downey slides right in, puts it across, goal! Great, great goal! goal. Got great. Kyle Belgay from... Downey is five to three. You've got to give Downey the credit for this one if you can see it when it comes up. He uh, really had patience with it. He looked like he had the shot. The goaltender was sure he had the shot. He made a great pass, and it was a wonderful goal. For Kyle Belgay, that's Number his circle. fifth goal of the season. 22. Kyle Belgay, the assistant number three, Mark Downey. And Mark Downey, three, uh, Brian Dale. He made a great Down play. The ball bounces loose in the corner. Here comes the... Shave Shantz is hit, no call. Now, yeah, I guess there is a call. Now, Sanch gets the ball out to Dales. Now he's getting a penalty. He's going to get a penalty for that. Well, that sort of evens it up, Don, for it the does. call that Quigley <laughs> was given. It's about the same type of check. It certainly is. So I think that's what you call in the referee's trade is an even upper. But, Gordon, you know, you were saying in the first period that the Saints weren't getting many draws, and so far there's been two face-offs in this period, and the Saints have won them both, although that last draw didn't look like it, but the Saints did come up with the ball and drew a penalty. Yeah, Jeff, uh, Jeff Fernquist, who I said did wasn't getting any, he got the first face-off to start the period, so he's already improved in the second period. Here's... Big Brad Downey checked off beautifully by Walker. This Tyler Walker, I really Jackson. like this kid for the Adnax. He's a dandy. He's only 17. First year intermediate. Here's a pass to Butler. Going in, shoots. Nice stop by Burnett. He got his arm on a Belgay. Worked over by Balzer. Belgay spins with that stick. He can really handle that stick. This kid, big kid from Victoria. Here's a pass across. Oh, great, great goal! Pass Radcliffe from goal Butler. Butler. It's 5 4. And Don, suddenly these, They're uh, going to make a game of this these Saints uh, power play has come alive. Well, you know, Gordon, this is exactly how the first game went. The Adnex seemed to have control, and the Poco Saints just took it back, took it back, took it back, and it ended up being a tie game. But that was a great, great pass. So that's two power play goals for the Saints. Reed Here comes the, the replay, replay up right now, and you'll. Here it comes now, and you watch this pass. Radcliffe's right there in front of the oh, goal. But, oh, Corey oh. Butler just fed oh, it right on a stick, and Radcliffe beautiful. just got rid of it in one motion for a second goal of the game, and you're going to be interviewing him. Here comes Mark Downey now, as the Saints seem to got some up spark. Play. Here's a chance for Penner. Shoots. Oh, he just he's missed. Just the ball bounces Mark down. And there's a hit by Dale. The ball bounces oh, loose. Okay. Now it's Come called as interference. Focus sends to pick up their game. The Adnax, uh, I think they have a lot of confidence That's coming out of this period. Belgay and Butler pick up assists on that, so that power play looked good there. There's a pass, and Dales rocked Kanopliff. There's Harris picking up the ball. 
Harris fires it across, knocked down by Downey, but it's picked up by Gaster. Back to Harris, right in front. There's a shot, stopped by Stidoff. Picks up the ball and flips it off to safety uh, to Dales. Brian Dales, number 23, comes down, flips it across to Stubbley. Stubbley across to Downey. Downey cutting in the middle, turns, flips it off, and there's a pass that Saunch couldn't come up with. Now it's picked off by Harris. Aikman took a shot at him, but didn't check him. Now Gaster flips it ahead. Here's Nishimura. He's a slick little player, this number seven. He played Junior B in Poco last year, uh, Don. Good little player, really hustles. Here's Murray getting loose in front, checked by Brad, uh, or Mark Downey. Here's Murray getting set for a shot. There it is, went wide, rebound. Murray picks it up, shoots over the net, and the Saints get the ball turned over. 15.06, it's, it's Coquitlam Adnax 5, or Coquitlam Saints 4. Now Penner to Downey. Downey, Mark Downey's played a very strong game for the Saints with a goal and an assist. Gives it to Marcus Aiton. You know, Don, the Saints team have only had two players with really any uh, Junior A, actually three players, any Junior A experience. Four, they, they did, they, a lot of them played together as intermediates and they play a lot of confidence yeah, with each so, other. So they got a lot of rookies on this team. Now the Adnacks take over the ball. Walsmith, head to Martin. Martin, Martin, another rookie. He played also with Port Coquitlam. He, the ball is loose, picked up. There's a shot, it's kicked out by Stidolf as Walker, a fine rookie, let that shot go. Walker with a ball again. There's a pass and you fell. Mark Newfelt flips it in the middle, hit by Marcus. Aikman, Aikman works over Martin. Good checking by Aikman. There's a pass in front, goes over the net. And the Saints take over a game. It looks like, Don, the Saints have tightened up their they defense up the in the second They're period. playing better in front of Stidoff than they did earlier in the game against Burke. But there's again bad another, pass. another bad another pass. Bad pass. A there's a hit by Quigley, but Walker Picks it up, man coming out of the box, come up with, getting set over to Patterson. He shot way wide. Scott goes after Knopfler. Knopfler walks right by him. Goes by Radcliffe, shoots. Ball trickles off into the corner. Patterson gets the ball, flips it out to Harris. Harris, Jeff Harris, flips the ball in the corner to Knopfler. He's got a great shot. Big guy getting set, shoots. Stidoff kicked that one out with his right leg. Back to Knopfler. Knopfler feeds it in front. Another stop by Stidoff. And uh, Scott, well, it's called an increase, and Scott could have got called there, Don. He yeah. Didn't, didn't do that very well, really. No. It but two different referees, Gordon, and they're both calling it differently. And I think it's just hard for the boys to know which which one they're standing in front of. I'm Gordon Stidoff, your play-by-play -play announcer, along with my color man, Don Scott, bringing you BC Junior A Lacrosse from Coquitlam Sports Center, where the Coquitlam Adnax lead the Poco Saints 5-4 in the second period. There's a shot. Radcliffe shot was stopped by Burnett. Ball bounces loose, picked up by Jake Lawson. Lawson looks for some help out in the middle. Feeds off to Scott. Scott shoots. The shot is blocked. Back comes Bardai. Lawson goes after him. Bardai lost the ball, but Harris picks it up. And Lawson's slow to get up there. Now Scott trying to. Bardai walks in and missed the goal. Radcliffe let him get away. Jeff Bernquist now. Out to Jeff Radcliffe. Down to Lawson. Lawson's got Belga in the crease. Lawson makes a great move. Shoot, scores! Yeah, great great goal by Jake Lawson. Great Take individual. Dog, we're all tied up. 5-5. <laughs> five, five. It's typical junior lacrosse. The last man to shoot is probably going to win the game or tie the game for the teams. Jake this Lawson's 11th goal of the season. And Don, this is another kid. And here comes the replay, Gordon. And it's it's uh, it's going to go in over, over his shoulder on the Look upside. Here move. he goes. Look at that. There he goes. Beautiful shot. This Jake Lawson. The goaltender was uh, falling away and the puck, the ball went right in the net. Don is also a great field lacrosse player. He has a scholarship to New York. He'll be going to the fall. Pickles, Pickles, number 14. Jacob Lawson, the assistant official for the Saints. Number 9, Jeff Ratcliffe. Time of the goal, 748. There's Ratcliffe getting another point, Gordon. He's yeah. good. He is a powerful player on yeah. this Poker Saints team. He needs a, the kid's a natural goal scorer, Don. Now this Adnax, the game tied up, come right back. Walker missed the ball. Mark Downey was in. Goes after that ball. Hutchins picks up the ball beautifully. Cut three. Adnax to beat. He's hit. 
Passes off to Penner. Big Steve Penner, the captain of the Saints. Very steady player, two-way player, good defensive player. He can score, too. Got the ball. Puts it in to Mark Downey. Mark Downey makes a move, cuts in the middle. Still got the ball. Flips it off beautifully. Here's a chance for Sanch. And the goaltender knocked the ball away. So uh, that's the second time that's happened, Don. Yeah. Pulled the net off as he knocked the ball away, but he's a big goaltender, so he's deep in that net. And when he comes, when he stands up, the net just comes off naturally. Our next uh, telecast on Rogers 4 will be uh, the June 17th WLA game between the Cooper Mad Max and the newest Mr. Salmon Bellies from this Cooper Sports Center. There, balls across, picked up. There's a pass right in front of Gaster, shoots. Still off, kicked that one out. I don't know if he saw it, it hit him and he went out, stayed out. Ropes got it, Ropes, maybe rope, he can really shoot. There's a pass across, looked like the player was in the crease and there's a penalty coming up. This yes. referee, George Morneau, he uh, has been 23. calling all the back checking penalties. He's, he's gonna be stickler all night long on anything from behind and he's called every penalty. He doesn't like it and I, I guess that he's seeing that the idea the only place you can be hurt is from behind. Did you know any other calls on? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's called all night. That's all he's called. But that's that's okay. That's what's those are correct calls. Now Frenquist uh, lost that face off. Brian Gales, two minutes for checking for behind. And Max again on that power play. Over to Murray. Back to rope. Rope in crease. They either hit the post or was kicked out. I think a little sure. bit of both. Yeah. Here's a chance for rope. Back to in front to Bardi. Right in front to Karop with nice work by the man on defense, Aikman, who checked him. Now Penner being worked over. Stidolf comes out of his crease. Fires a long pass, bad one, right to Bardai. He had down the open. I don't think he had much time there. left to, to pass that ball. Oh, you could be right. They have 10 seconds, Don, to get the ball out of their own zone, so it could have been just about up. Here's a chance, scored! Yeah. Canopoulos standing in front of Gordon. That was what happened in the first period. That's the second power play goal for the Adnax. Canopoulos' second goal, and 6-5 Adnax. 10.23 to go. The defensive four broke down there and let him stand right in front. He went unchecked totally, got a lovely pass, and here comes the replay now. And you'll see on this pass that he's all alone right there in front and nicely, again, over the gloves of uh, Stidham. Well, you talk about a uh, natural goal scorer. There's another one, Chris Kanopoulos. He's a great goal scorer. Here's Radcliffe. Right now, face off. Shoots. Fake shoots. Great stop by Burnett. Like Radcliffe went in too far. In. He's being well checked from behind. Radcliffe picks up a loose ball. ball. Got Murray to beat. Beats Murray. Comes in front. He's hit. Knocked down by Nishimura. Coming back. Here's a pass by Bradley. Back to Tosh Nishimura. He's hit by Scott. Comes back to Murray. Murray shoots. Nice. nice. I don't know if that was a stop again. Don. Oh, yeah. Hit like him it. Shoulder. Got his shoulder on it. Was heading to the top corner. Adnax taking the lead over again. There's a pass right in front, picked off by Corey Butler. Butler coming down, three on one. Butler and Radcliffe, Butler coming in. Back to Radcliffe, ready and go, score! Oh yeah. Radcliffe from Butler, and that's Radcliffe's third Tied goal. Tied this game up. It's all tied up again. We got ourselves a dandy this here, This is a Don. dandy. Stick side on the goaltender. Goaltender went, went, went for the fake, and it was a great shot right into the... And a beautiful play by right Corey Butler. Beautiful play by Corey Butler, and you're gonna have a good interview with Jeff oh, Radcliffe. Yeah. He's got three goals now, and I believe one assist, Don. Uh, four points at this point, for sure. Lucky number 48. That's lucky On that faceoff, Belgay picks it up. Picked up by Penner. Six goals, scored by number nine, Jeff Radcliffe. The assist to number 11, Corey Butler. The goal. Mark Downey Jeff taking a tremendous one. beating. Oh. Still got the ball. For number nine, Jeff Radcliffe, that's his hat trick. For the Comes evening. in front, passes off. Here's Shots, his shot just missed. Picked up by Jansen. Here's a breakaway pass for Patterson, but Brian Dales is back there, coming down the middle is, is Walker. Patterson tries to shoot, he missed the net. Now the ball's loose. Now it's called interference by referee George Morneau. Newfeld has the ball. Newfeld out in the middle to Blair Martin. Patterson fakes the shot, shots, grabbed at him. With the grab. There's Mark Downey trying to check Newfeld. There's a man open to the side, this Martin. Watched by Belgate coming down the middle. There's a oh, penalty. A oh, he calls something else, Don. Yeah. Watch Kanopoulos standing right They're in front. Working that ball around. Newfeld getting set. Newfeld shoots. Stopped by Stidoff. And the uh, Saints are shorthanded again. And uh, they're running into penalty trouble. Sanch getting the penalties. 
Chase shots. It, again, you know, this game is, is, is typical of any game. A referee sees it the way he sees it, and he's got to make the calls when he feels it's there. And, and I guess he felt that that slash was a was too much and was, and was high on the arm and uh, could have caused an injury, so he's calling it. The slash was there, whether or not it deserved a penalty, it's up to the referee. And the Saints lost that faceoff again as Frinquist continues to have problems on the faceoff. Murray across, there's a shot, scored! Nice shot, rope from, rope Murray. from Murray. And it's 7-6 Adnax. And that's the third Adnax power play goal. And that's the uh, fifth goal score for the Ad. And here comes the repeat on this. There's a lot of time to set up. Ball move, Murray right over, and nice shot. Not much movement on the uh, Saints defense. They just let them wind up and shoot. Radcliffe lost the faceoff. Saints are having a very bad time on faceoffs. I don't know if Scott Dene, who's been very good on faceoffs, has not taken many. I don't know why. Assistant number eight. Friday, Butler to, oh, Lawson lost the ball. Right in front, shoots, nice stop, stood off. He saved the Saints on that one as Lawson lost that ball. Now Fernquist. Cross to Butler, who did mishandle that pass. Butler is hit. Gadnax come up with the ball. Burnett flips it off to Newfelt. 7.54 to go in the second period. We've got Madnax seven. Work will call him Saints six. Saints will come back after trailing. Here's a chance for Radcliffe. Away. Radcliffe's got a breakaway. Going for his fourth goal. Going right in on goal. Radcliffe gets it. Shoots. Oh, Burnett makes a great oh, save. Yes. Great save, Burnett. The ball was in behind him, but he still <coughs> he stopped it. Now it's three on two for the Adnax the other way. Here's a pass across. Gaster missed it. Bardai picks it up. Flips it in front to Konopoulos. Picked off by Butler. Butler and Radcliffe come back. But the Adnax get back there on defense. So Burnett keeps the Adnax in the lead as he robbed Radcliffe. Coming around that net is Brad Downey. Brad Downey playing his first game this season of box lacrosse. He's played a lot of field lacrosse. Big guy being worked over by Konopoulos. There's Stubbley shot, went off of Konopoulos. Picked up by Harrison. Aaron Harrison, number 19. Takes a shot, stopped easily by Burnett. It was just a 30 second shot as the time was running out. Gaster gives it to Bradley, Blair Bradley, another rookie, got in the corner for the Adnax, watched by Aikman, gives it to Nishia Mira, throws it out to Walsmith, Walsmith check, picked up by Harrison, worked over by two Adnax, they jam in there, Murray jams them, puck is loose, the ball is loose, picked up by Downey, Downey starts out, Brad Downey, brothers on this team, Mark Downey, number three and number 12, Brad Downey. Brad Downey getting, trying to work his way in, makes a nice play. Be uh, Aikman couldn't come up with it. Walsmith gets it. Now the Adnax take over. Coming down. Where that lot of excitement come from the Saints uh, bench. They, they feel that the boys are getting a little slow getting back. They were, they looked awful <laughs> slow getting <laughs> back. Tired. There's Patterson working his way in, takes a shot. Newfeld goes in the middle. Oh, there's He's a belted by Harrison. Jansen has the ball, puts it out. Here's a shot way wide by Patterson. That was a 30-second shot, too. That clock ran out. Saints take over, and they make a change. I think Newfeld had something to say to Harrison, so we watch that uh, as the game uh, well, progresses. That, he took a pretty rough beating there in front of the net. He's a pretty big boy. Aaron Harrison, uh, is, he won't back down, I'll tell you that. Mark Downey picks up that ball. Our next Junior A game will be on June the 28th. The same two teams here at the Gokotan Sports Center. And Don, I think all these games with these two teams are going to be great oh, this, this is season. Be tough. Here's Mark Downey. Takes a shot. It didn't get to the net. Fights for the ball. Almost came up with it. Didn't do it. Here comes his Walker kid again. Racing down the right side. Speed. Coming in. Right in front to Patterson. Patterson didn't shoot. Dales is back there. Now Harris in front of the net. There's a shot. Did all stop that from Walker. The ball's loose. Saints and Dales cleared a couple of ad no, I'm out really of there. impressed with his Dales kid on his defense. He's, oh. he, he plays a good position as well as tough. There's oh. a good, nice shot by Corey Rope, and that's the second goal in a row, and it makes it eight to six. Again over the stick side. 
but I don't know if, if uh, we might be able to see it on the replay if it, if it comes up here. That's Stidoff, whether he was screened or not, but it was a great shot. And uh, wasn't much movement. We don't, have, we don't have a replay on that one. But Stidoff, so far this uh, period, stopped 11 shots and, uh, and has let in those two goals. Well, it's been a great second period. Well, I don't know if uh, Scott Dene is injured or what, but I haven't seen him on the floor since the first period. And he's probably the best face-off man for the Saints, so perhaps he's injured. Yeah, must be. Now back come the Adnax again. Rope who scored two in a row. Barley cuts through. Harris puts it in behind to Gaster. As they work it from behind, there's Rope. Just missed the top of the net. Back comes Scott now with Radcliffe. Scott cuts to the outside. There he goes. Goes right in himself. Shoots. Oh, nice stop by Burnett. Picked up by Quigley. Quigley shoots. Miss, missed the net. Radcliffe goes after with Gaster. Quigley goes in and picks up the ball. Good work by Quigley. Goes in behind the net. 4.15 to go in the second period. Adnax eight. Saints six. Jake Lawson. Going back, he's checked off the ball neatly by Bardai. Bardai has the ball, flips it in front, picked off by Fernquist neatly. Jeff Fernquist now works his way back. Now he drops the ball. And he was held bowling, by yeah. Boy, so it's a good call by the referee there. Now Quigley, right down the middle. Quigley's getting set, shoots. Oh, stopped by Burnett. I think that I think he was meaning to pass that one off Gordon and got stuck in his stick. Turned out to be a shot. Nobody checked him. He walked right down the middle. <laughs> uh, we'll try and find out between periods what, what happened to Scott Denae, but it, we, we don't see him. I can't even see him on the bench, so he must have got injured. Here's Murray right in front. Nice stop by Stidoff. Ball goes loose in the corner. Adnax continue to pick up the loose ball. Oh, great There's stop. a shot right in the, in the mass. Stidoff stopped it. There's a pass across, it missed. Saints just stand there and watch the Adnax pick up the ball. They're really not, this line really not into it. There's a shot, another stop by Stidoff. And now finally, Brad Downey starts out. Just over three, three minutes to go exactly now in the second period. Saints would love to get a goal before this period ends, get back in this game. Here's Butler, or a Aikman, missed the net with a shot. Harrison trying to pick it up, and I think we're going to get an interference the call. They're not getting the quality of shots Gordon they got earlier in the period when they were when they were winning uh, this game, where they got back to tie it up. Oh, well, Harrison lost the ball as he tried to beat Murray. Ball bounces loose. Burnett picks it up. Burnett waiting to pass down the floor. Now he just flips it off to Murray. Now it's Walker. Walker has the ball. Feeds it in to Jansen. Jansen right in front of Newfelt. Still all stop that one. Now Brad down. He can't pick up a loose ball. Here's another chance. Another stop by Stidoff as the Adnax are just running through the Saints defense at will there. Now Harrison picks up a loose ball, passes it to Aikman. Marcus Aikman with two minutes to go comes down. He's being chased by Baltzer. Flips it off to Shantz in the corner. Shantz being worked over by Jansen. Shea Shantz trying to come out of the corner. He's being worked over. Newfelt now, there's a pass across and Burnett did a great job of knocking down. It was intended for Stubbley. There's that long pass. And Brian Dales is getting set. He hits his man, Walker, but Walker comes up with the ball. Again, Dales plays smart. He didn't try to go for that loose ball. He took the man and just, the man had no chance to get a shot. Bardai now with a minute and a half to go in the second period. Flips it in the middle, Kanopliff. Trying to get a shot, he drops it off to Gaster in the crease. Back to Konopoulos. Konopoulos turns out in the middle. Watched by Stubbley. Konopoulos getting set, he's allowed to shoot. And ball bounced wide. And it's yeah, Saints take over the ball. Now Penner for the Saints starts out. Coquitlam Madnax, Junior A lacrosse. Every Wednesday night here at the Coquitlam Sports Center, 8 o'clock. Thursday night, Poco Rec Center. One minute remaining. Poco Saints play, 8 o'clock. Oh, there's a bad pass by Butler, picked up by Radcliffe. Radcliffe bores in, passes across to Belgay, or to Scott, stopped by Burnett. Sunday night, 7.30, Burnaby Lake Arena. The Lakers play, there's a shot. 
think that went off the post, Don. Yeah, I think it was a good sidearm. He switched hands and crossed hands and took a shot on that one. And here's Mr. Salmon Bellies. They play every Friday night, 8 o'clock, Queen's Park Arena. So get out and watch some great Junior A lacrosse. Now here's Lawson with 22 seconds to go in this second period. Saints trying to get a late goal to bring this game a little closer. There's a shot picked up by Butler. Butler getting set. There's a shot, it's blocked, it goes down the floor. And with seven seconds, the Adnax will get the ball. Bardi. Bardi flips it in the middle. There's a shot. The ball went off the ankle of uh, Fernquist. The ball bouncing loose. And in one second, that'll end the period. And that's the end of the second period. The score, the Coquitlam Adnax, eight. Work Coquitlam, Saints, six. Stand by. We'll be right back with an interview with the high-scoring Jeff Radcliffe from the Poco Saints. Big day, your first class, your job interview. You never know where it'll strike, you never know when. Your 40th anniversary. For a quarter million Canadians, the only thing predictable about inflammatory bowel disease is the pain. With your help, the cure will be found. Welcome to the second period intermission. I have as my guest, Jeff Radcliffe of the Poco Saints. And Jeff, that was a great period for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what, did you get three goals that period or did you have one in the first? I, I got one in the first, one two that period. period. But you missed the fourth. I, th I thought you had it. Uh, it was trickling behind the goalie. Could have went either way. How are you guys playing against this Whitlam Adnax team now? They, they, you tied them the first game. You guys have not, you're undefeated. You came out, you looked a little rusty, but now you're back in the game and looking pretty good. Yeah, they came out flying and uh, Coming into the second, we just wanted to switch the momentum around and just get right back in there. Did it make a difference when uh, when Stidoff went in? I, I know that Berkeley was having a uh, pretty rough go of it. Uh, you have two good goaltenders, but one on one night will play better than the other. Well, yeah. Well, when Rodney kept on getting scored on, we feel bad because Rodney keeps us in a lot of a lot of our games. And when Regan went in, we just wanted to back him up, make sure he had a strong outing. But it's nothing against a goaltender. He, he scores some nights. You're going to let him go in, and it's not a problem. Oh he's yeah. He's pulled, and Regan's played well, and and the team's doing the team's doing good this year. Yeah, we're we're really a young team, and we just get better and better. So it's looking good for us. Well, last year you were scoring leader in intermediates, and you and you've brought the basic team with you this year. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel? Are you surprised at your performance so far? Uh, not really. We're just a lot of hard workers and. We just, we mold well together. And coaching, this is a coaching change for you this year, isn't it? Yeah. And then what do you think of the, the new coach? Uh, a lot of experience there behind the bench. Oh, yeah, John and Harry, they know a lot of lacrosse, that's for sure. Is there anything particular they want you to do because you're a new team going into the year? You, you um, are, are, will be playing intended, but you've got, some, you've got some pretty senior people out there. Uh, yeah, well, we just try not to get intimidated out there, make sure that we uh, just give it 100%. Jeff, now that we're you know we're talking about lacrosse, and you're, this is your junior year. But what what do you feel? Are you going to go on in lacrosse? Are you going to go into school, or are you just planning to just stay in the lower mainland and play lacrosse here? Actually, uh, I'm hoping to get a scholarship, I guess, for field lacrosse. Any particular school that you're looking for? Uh, not yet. Not yet. It's too soon. Yeah, too soon. Okay, Jeff. Congratulations on the on your play so far, and good luck in the third period. Well, thanks. And we'll be right back with the third period in the Coquitlam Sports Center. Getting st set to start the third period from the Coquitlam Sports Center. It's the Coquitlam Adnax. Eight, 
Coco Saints, six, Junior A lacrosse. Don, you'll have the job of picking the three stars tonight. So there's a lot of candidates out there. There is a lot of candidates. Uh, both teams are uh, playing very, very well, and they're spreading the scoring out, except for Jeff Redcliffe. The scoring is uh, pretty even. There's two two players on the Adnax team that are doing extremely well, Chris Knopfler and, and Rope. Rope got two goals in a very, very short period of time. But Knopfler's goals in the power play are the ones that, that uh, uh, show his strength as a senior player. He gets right up in front of the net. He's a tall man. He gets right in. Well, we'll see what the Saints can do. Uh, checking on the Saints, uh, Scott Denae, their big big defensive player, is, is sick. He's got the flu, I guess, and he's not. I don't think you'll see him on the floor not feeling well, Don, this third period. And it's too bad because he's a, probably their best face-off man. Yeah, and Gordon, you know, it's, it's fairly warm in here in this arena tonight. And I guess if you're, if you're upset with the flu, uh, you lose a little bit of water on the floor, a little bit of, of moisture, and then pretty soon your, your stomach is letting go. And, and I think that it's a tough game to play when you're not feeling well. Jeff Radcliffe, uh, or uh, Jeff Fernquist, is taking a face off against Blair Bradley as we get set to start this third period. Now, I've got some type of delay as a goaltender. Burnett goes over to talk to Coach Frank Nielsen. Now we're getting set for the face off. Adnax trying to even the record at 3-3-1, three, three and, and the Coco Saints trying to remain undefeated. They've not lost this season, but right now they've got an uphill battle if they're going to come back in this game. There's a shot that hit Lawson. The ball rolls loose, still loose. It was in the crease, it looked like. Now a good call by referee Morrow. Yeah. That ball was in the crease, That's and he true. called it. He slowed the call down. Maybe he's waiting to see if the had uh, oh, Nice Saints catch by Radcliffe. He spins right around, gets set. He scores! Radcliffe from Fernquist. Four. And I believe, uh, I'm not sure, but that's number from, four. From the goaltender. I'm not sure if there's a goaltender pass. It. We, I don't hopefully have a replay. A beautiful goal by oh, Radcliffe. Great goal. Made that great move, that spinorama move he has. And he popped his fourth goal of the night. We're going to have a replay, Don. Here it comes oh, now. There, there's a goal. Right yeah, just right up over the stick side. So it's a 8 7 now. Here comes the Saints again. Lawson coming in. Oh, he missed oh. the net. I thought he had that, Don. Nine. Looked like it was going he in. He had that same spot, Gordon, yeah. but he just missed the net. Butler now have the ball for the Saints. Jeff Turkless. Oh, good. 33 seconds. Corey Butler trying to get a shot. Loses it. Scott goes after it. Scott doesn't pick it up. Now Scott looks at the ball, picks it up. He's got Corey Butler wide open, but he doesn't see him. Now he takes a shot. It was easily stopped by Burnett. A giveaway because of the time clock. Yeah. Eight seven. Adnax back. Here comes Kanopliff. Big Chris Kanopliff, a dear, very dangerous scorer for the Adnax. Cuts to the corner. Scott waves a stick at him. Butler watches him. He passes out into the middle. Here's Rope, who's got that great shot. He has two goals already. Scored the last two Adnac goals. Here's Bardi. Shot scores. Great goal, Bardi. Good pass from by Rope. Rope too. Excellent pass. Corey Colby Rope is having a great game for the Adnacs, and it's now two goal lead again, nine seven. Bardi with his one goal and three assists. He's, yeah. done, he's doing very well. Yeah, he's having a big game. You should see it on the replay. Rope makes a beautiful tall but high pass and just fires that ball in. There was no the Saints. Uh, Little slow on their checking oh, again. Very slow in there. They didn't they didn't cover that area shooting area at all. Like. Bard I shoot. Ball bouncing around. Penner loses his stick. Ball We're bouncing the corner. Rope picks it up. There's Knopfler. Chris Knopfler. now. Shots is down on the floor. Now we finally get a whistle. And I don't know what happened to him, Don. I know he's. I think it, it, Gordon, I think he lunged forward. I'm not too sure whether he landed on his knee or his elbow. He's had some problems with Here's his back, so. 50-50 number for $53. The winning ticket, 0 0 one, two, seven, one. That's 0, zero one, two, seven, one. Adnax will have the ball. They get a new 30-second out of this one. Yes, they do. Knopfler into rope, rope, rope. Flips the ball into Bardi again. He couldn't handle it. Knopfler worked over by Mark Downey. Now Knopfler comes out of the corner. Into the corner to Gaster. There's Rope coming in. Shoots. Did all stop that? Ball's loose. Picked up by 
Penner. Penner starts out, but he's checked off the ball by Rope. Corey Rope having a very strong game for the Adnax. As is Mark Downey, who just picked up the ball for the Saints. Mark Downey, watched by Konopla. Mark Downey, back to Penner. And Penner bubbled that ball, and Bardai hit, missed Konoplyff. Ball goes back down the floor. Brad Downey can't check Konoplyff for the ball. Hit, he's hit by Quigley, who did a nice job. Quigley now flips the ball ahead to Brad Downey. Brad Downey comes down the right side of the floor. Big guy coming in with Belgay. Oh, Belgay, and the oh. shot went on goal. And Burnett stopped it with his leg. Now Bradley starts out for the Adnax. Bradley feeds Nishimura. Nishimura into Murray, shoots way over the net, picked up by Stubbley. Stubbley being pressured by two Adnax, gives it to Belgay. Belgay, Quigley's not looking at the ball, now he is. Now Quigley gets the ball. Harrison's open, Quigley finally passes to Aikman. Aikman tries to beat his man, Newfeld. Aikman spins back to Quigley. Quigley. Nice pass in there to Stubbley, and he, I think he hit the post a nice shot done. Adnax pick up the loose ball, Murray. Don, I would say that the difference in this ball game is the Adnax ability to get loose, loose balls. Loose balls, yeah. They, and that's why they're hit by two goals. It definitely. The Saints are looking around yeah, and waiting to see. Better them. loose balls, and the Saints have probably played their worst game on defense all season. There's another, another great stop break. by Stidoff. He kicked that out with his left leg. Man was right in on top, and Walker gained a sign of that no defense. Defenser, collapsing. No defense. Now, the ball's out in front, the ball's bouncing loose. Stidoff grabs that loose ball. Looks to pass the ball off. There it is, pass to Brad Downey. Brad Downey, Brand, uh, pardon me, Andrew Stubbley. Dale's muffed that pass. Now, why did the re referee blew that whistle? I don't know, but he blew a whistle for interference. Here's Bardai faking a shot. Here's Rope again. Watched by Radcliffe, back to Barda. He puts it right in front of Konopliff. Nice stop by Stidoff. Great he stop. Konopliff standing in front again, all by himself. Plenty of time to shoot. And I know Coach Harry Preston for the Saints is going to be extremely unhappy with his team's defensive effort in this game. They've really broken down. That zone has really broken down. Lawson now takes the ball, flips the ball out to Radcliffe, but he missed. Now here comes Patterson, two on one with Baltzer, Rad, uh, Fernquist made a nice check. Now Butler goes after Patterson. Now Rope with the ball. Rope spins, shoots. Nice stop by Stidoff again. The ball's loose. Canopla picks it up, uncontested. Puts it in front to Bardai. Bardai <coughs> gives it to Rope. Rope puts it across to Gaster. He picks it up in the corner. And Stidoff intercepted a pass neatly. There's a pass to Radcliffe. He's got the ball, streaking down the floor, but Rope's coming out of nowhere. Radcliffe shoots. Nice stop by Burnett. And the ball's flipped back down by Burnett, and the goaltenders get into this game in a big way with some nice passing ball. Good, good passing, good stick from the goaltenders. Their ball's oh, loose. Oh, great hit. And uh, loose Fernquist ball hit, is called. Konopliff picks it up. Konopliff drops it off to Bradley. Bradley watched by Scott. Scott checks him. Knocks a ball out of the stick. It has to go back to center floor for it. Gives it to Bruce Murray. Bruce Murray flips it in the middle. Picked off neatly by Fernqu uh, Fernquist. Fernquist makes a move. Nice little flip pass to Radcliffe. Radcliffe going in. Fake shoots. Great stop, Burnett. And a hit oh, from the oh. eye. That should be five minutes. Well, I don't know if it will be, but it should be, Don. That should be a five-minute penalty on uh, Head first into the wall. Murray. And Radcliffe, if he could finish off some of these breakaways, yeah, Don. A great a play great by Jeff Fernquist. Frinquist made a great play. If you watch the replay on this, Gordon, Radcliffe gets free again, right in front, great drop, and then uh, push it. It, it looked uh, uh, worse than it was because he came down and his head slid into the, the coast. Five minutes. But they are gonna give five, and yeah. I, I think in junior lacrosse, that's the call for this one, because it should be boarding. Uh, I guess the key will here be done if the Saints can get the ball. I mean, they're not getting face-offs, they're not getting loose balls, and I didn't get that one, I didn't get the ball. Oh, there's a... Walker. Now there goes a penalty to the Saints, so, as I said... Fernquist hit him high. Well, Don, I just finished saying if the Saints can get the ball, they weren't getting face-offs. So 
So we'll have another face off, and there goes the power play for the Saints. Uh, they're, they're questioning the referee on that, but I think the referee made a great call. It could either have been high stick or elbowing or boarding. So it was a good call for two minute penalty. Oh, definitely. It was uh, it was just a bad the Saints. It was a penalty. Loose balls again. Yeah. Yeah. There they go, losing another face off. But Butler comes up, picks it up. And he lost it, bounces. Now coming back to get it is Radcliffe. Radcliffe grabbed by Patterson, but he gets away. Here comes Radcliffe. Lawson's open. Radcliffe doesn't even look at Lawson. Now Radcliffe's got the ball. Now it's to Butler. Butler shoots. A very easy save for Burnett. Ball bounces in the corner. Now it's called interference. Saints get the ball again. One twenty-nine and the penalty to the Saints. Then they will have a power play. Now Butler in behind the net has the ball. There's a pass to Scott. Missed. It was right in a stick. Now, Again, man, that Butler that's couldn't come up with the ball. Patterson's going to get a breakaway here. Radcliffe really hustling. Patterson shoots. Scores! Yeah, there would have been a penalty on that uh, George with Radcliffe's uh, high stick, but that was a great shot, great goal. Well, again, the inability of the Saints to come up with a loose ball cost them another goal. Yeah, here comes the replay. Patterson, number two, breaks out and gets, a, gets the ball, fires it in the low stick side. It's 10 to 7 now as the Adnacks start to pull away from the Saints. But one time came back to tie it at 6-6, but there's a shot of stop by Stidoff as Rope, Rope took a shot. Canopliff checked by Belgay. Belgay going after the loose ball. Belgay keeps going. Belgay jumps over his man, picks up the ball. Kyle Belgay going in. Works, turns, gets set, fake shoots, hit the post. Hit the post, right the base. Great play by Belgay. This guy can really handle a stick, this big guy from Victoria, Don. Now Burnett comes out to center floor to give it to Coy. Both teams playing. Here's 50 finner, 50 short. 50 winner tonight, Ken Wallsmith. Here's Blair Bradley, shoots. Stood off, kicked that out with his right leg. There's a pass in front. Brad down, he goes after it. Wallsmith goes after him. Ball Smith checks him, Stidall comes out of his goal, flips the ball out to Mark Downey, nice bounce pass. Downey starts out now with Penner, two, two Adnacks back. Downey beats his man, goes in, here's Mark Downey, getting set off to Penner, Penner shot. That ball is yeah. in the net. Yeah, it was, it, it took, yeah. a, took a minute, the light, red light didn't go on, but the referee called it immediately. It was Steve, just a great shot Steve Penner over the, the glove side of the goaltender. His fifth goal of the season on a nice play from Mark Downey, who has, I believe he has three points now, Don. He's played a very good game. Very for the strong game. Saints. Again, there's a chance the Saints finally get a loose ball and they get a goal out of it. 10-8 yeah. now. Saints within two goals again of the Four Adnacks. seconds, Saints will have a power play. Well, here again, uh, Don is crit critical that they get the face off. Here comes the this goal. Here comes a nice pass. Didn't have much room, but he got in there real quick. Now they got the ball. Good job by Aaron Harrison to get that face off for the Saints. Now here comes the power play. Don, if they can pop a couple goals here, they yep. can tie this game. Radcliffe goes to the crease. Lawson goes to the shooter spot. Butler goes to the shooter spot on the other side. Belgay in the crease. Here's Brad down. He shoots right at Burnett, and he makes the save. Gordon, on that play, as soon as that ball was in the goaltender, two Adnacks broke out. The Adnacks are breaking out real quick. Well, that's their... The Saints better watch out. That's, be their, short that's goal, their game, Don, run and gun, and they do it great. The, oh, the great best team in the league for run and gun. And they, they sting a lot of teams. Uh, Frank Nielsen does a great job coaching that. Now Konopolis took the ball off there. Harrison digs for the ball. Saints try to pick it up, get in there and get the ball. They can't do it. The ball, Konopolis still got the ball, still battling for it. So, Saints got three players in there. Now Frenquist comes in there and he's hit. Ball bounces loose. It goes into a Saints stick and Frenquist comes up with it. There was some good work done on loose yeah, balls. Yeah, good, good effort that time. Took a long time, but they did it. A lot of strength on Konopolis, though. He stayed in there yeah, a long way. Yeah, he's, he's a big guy. He's a lot, strong. Lot Here's Lawson. In front of Belgay. Scores! Great goal! Great goal. Belgay Great from ball. Lawson. That's one of the two ball plays yep. that are allowed on this five-minute major. And then for Kyle Belgay, that's the second goal. Lawson's second point, I believe, in this lacrosse game, and it's 10-9. Uh, Great pass from Lawson to Belgay. Oh, you, you got to love this Belgay kid, the way he handles that stick. Here he comes. Now watch this. Not Bang, right pass. in the net. Yep. Yeah. 
Again, Gordon, that's, uh, that's the fourth goal that's in there above the, uh, the stick of this goaltender. Uh, he's gone over to the bench now, whether it's just to have a little break and loosen up. Uh, that's uh, three power play goals I have for both teams, Don. Delegate, so. the assistant number 14. Jacob 10, Lawson, 9. And number 25, Jeff Frenquist. Jeff Frenquist played a very strong game of loose balls and hustle yeah. for the uh, Saints, Don. On that, on that play, that, that, that play in the corner in the, in the Saints' end uh, freed that ball up for the Saints. But the Adnacks, again, they're, they're a very powerful team, very quick. Well, we've got lots of time. We've got 11.03 to go. And the uh, faceoff at center here again at, with uh, 1.44 to go on the power play time. It's critical that the Saints get the loose ball done. In the last game these two teams played, I believe, Gordon, there was two seconds left on the clock. That's, that's the correct. Uh, and uh, call up, big call up, Peter, uh, Peter Morgan scored with two seconds to go to get the Saints an 8-8 tie. And that was their first ever Junior A lacrosse game, and they went on to win three more and tie first place again, South like, Fraser after that. So the team is competitive, Don. Showing will be this is. Sunday, May the 28th. There we see uh, Rocky yeah, Zimmerman yeah, yeah. in the white the shirt Sunday, there. He's coached some of these local kids before, and he, be he's done a lot of coaching in Meyer Lacrosse. Here we go, a key faceoff, Knopf left against Frenquist. In the afternoon on Wednesday, June the 14th, 2 o'clock p.m. <laughs> and we're getting a whistle against the Saints, and uh, again, the Saints don't come up with that ball in the faceoff, and that faceoff so important. And next week, uh, this weekend, the Adnax will be getting Lindsey Osborne back from Whittier College, where he played with Brad Downey, and uh, he's really going to help the Adnax in the face-off circle, Don. He's one of the best face-off men in the league. Yeah, you're getting another face-off in the Saints end. Yeah. But Kanopolis playing very strongly. Yeah, he's I, held on you know, to that ball for a long time. Took a lot of a lot of beating there to hang on to that. Kyle Belgay is very good on the face-offs, and uh, now that ball drops, and again, the Saints, there goes Frenquist, he's got a breakaway, streaking towards the net, coming after him is Rope, Rope getting set, he doesn't shoot. Smart play, I think, Yeah, I don't there. think he had the shot there. I think Now he he's got to move that ball back before he loses it. But Still the rest of the Saints have got to get out of their box and get down the he's floor. He's got to get him. off. <laughs> Here's Butler shooting, missed the net. Back to Lawson, Lawson, back to Butler. He missed the ball. Butler missed the ball again. Lawson. Gets the ball now. Butler gets it. Yeah, Saints very sloppy there. Four seconds. Oh, oh hit, hit the, the post. Goal post. What a shot by Butler. He hit the goal post. Nobody was expecting oh. that shot. To... Well, Corey Butler's got a great <laughs> shot for the Saints. Now they get their 30 seconds back again. Brad Downey now. 50 seconds to go. 10 9. Adnack lead the Saints. Cross to Butler. Butler fakes back to. Brad Downey over to Lawson. Lawson shoots. Oh, he missed the net. The ball bounces high in the air. Brad Downey trying to go after it, but it almost comes up here, Don. Yeah. And the Adnax take over again. Gordon, I think with that Butler on that spot on the on the power play, they should give him the ball more often. He oh, should take some shots. The kid's got a great shot. Wow. He really does. That was he's, impressive. He's done very well for the uh, big rookies. Done. Oh, Here's Chancellor Patterson. It. Shoots, scores again. Same place. Low shot and no at 11-9. That's a short-handed goal for Patterson. Yeah, and, and again, the Saints Second are guilty of, of standing around and thinking that the Adnax is going to take their time. And this Adnax team is really fast. If you watch this replay, Patterson just goes in all by himself because the Saints are uh, we're a little late on that replay, but the Saints are uh, standing around. The Adnax are really moving. Kevin Patterson, the assistant number eight, Well, there's another point for Bardi. Can to pick up that ball. Ball still bouncing around loose. Now it's picked up by Brad Downey. Gives it to Lawson. So a short-handed goal puts the Adnax up by two goals again, so it's important. Again, there's only seven seconds on the power play. Lawson missed the pass. Wallsmith goes after it. Lawson goes after it. Radcliffe stands and watches. Now it's picked up by Radcliffe was open, but well, he's back out. here's Lawson Family's coming in and over. shoots. Oh, it hit the player in the back. The ball bounces loose. Belgay goes after it. Belgay comes up with the ball, makes a nice move around Baltzer, and uh, 30 Time seconds flag. runs out. And the Adnax take over. 9.05 to go. The Adnax 11, Coco Saints 9. The Adnax played that five minute penalty very well. It, it, it was even up, no difference, still two goal lead for the Adnax. Well, as we've been saying all night, the inability to get loose balls cost the Saints dearly. There's a shot stopped by Stidoff. The ball's in. The gut player's in the crease. Stidoff picks it up, fires it out to Quigley, who misses the pass, but goes after the loose ball. He can't come up with it. He goes after his man. Murray gets away from him. 
There's a pass across. Back to Murray. Murray puts it in front. Walker's hit by Stubbley. Penner now. Mira hits him. Penner gets away beautifully from him. Flips the ball off to Quigley. Quigley off to Aikman. Aikman. Saints make some changes. Aikman trying to beat his man. Now goes by him. Shoots. Nice stop by goaltender. Burnett. Now the Adnax Patterson has scored two, two key goals here in the third period. Flips it off to Neufeld. Neufeld. There's Jansen wide open. Ball, he didn't, couldn't handle the pass from Neufeld. Neufeld trying to come out of the corner. Gives it to Walker. He shoots it off. Stop that. Ball loose in the corner. Aikman goes after it. Now it's picked up by Walker. Or Martin. Martin across to Neufeld. Neufeld watched by Stubbley. Adnax using up to 32nd here. Out to Patterson. Patterson. Fakes a shot, cuts to the corner. Kevin Patterson. Now he looks, shoots, stopped by Stidoff. Jansen goes after it with Aikman. Aikman takes him into the boards, and that'll be a turnover for the Adnax getting the ball. Jansen back to Patterson. Patterson out to Walker. Adnax make one player change. Bardai comes out. Stubbley trying to check Walker. Here comes to Bardai. Bardai into Martin. Martin shoots. Stopped by Stidoff. Ball bounces into the stands. And a little flip pass to Radcliffe. Radcliffe now comes down the right side. Radcliffe has four goals for the Saints. Being checked. Off to Butler. Butler getting set. Butler shoots. Oh, Burnett stops that. Butler tried to shoot again. It's going to be the Saints ball. 6.47 to go. Adnax hold a two-goal lead. Scott out to Butler. Butler watched by Kanopoulos. Butler fakes. Pass right in front of the net. Radcliffe can't come up with it. Tries to shovel, take a slap shot like hockey, Don. Now Burnett comes out of his goal up to Kanopoulos. Radcliffe slow getting back for the Saints, there's a pass in to Rope. Rad Fernquist checked him. Scott goes after Knopfliff, out to Harris. And there's a pass that's missed. Saints come out, up, get the ball back. <coughs> now Lawson flips it off. To Downey, to Penner. Steve Penner, big captain for the Saints, has a goal. Gives it to Brad Downey. He's out there with his brother Mark who missed the pass. Now picking up his rope. Rope flips the ball and goes high in the air. Burnett goes, come racing out to get the loose ball. Fires it out to Bradley. Bradley fires it to Wallsmith. The ball bounces over towards the Saints bench. Saints trying to come up with it. The ball is loose. And the Saints come up with the ball. Jordan, the Adnax are double teaming, triple teaming, to do whatever. The Adnax are in on the on the loose balls, and the Saints are standing around watching one player try to take on four. Well, you're right, Don. The Adnax look like the veteran team tonight, and the Saints look like a rookie team. The team play is much superior by the Adnax. That's why they're winning this lacrosse game. Dales off to Penner. He missed the net. Picked up by Poi. Poi. Taking his time, using up the clock. His team leads two, two goals, 11 to nine. Here comes Konopliff, he's got the big shot. Ball bounces loose. Penner goes for the loose ball with Bardai. Penner gets the ball knocked out of his stick. Stidoff collides with Bardai in the corner. And we're gonna get an interfere. No, it's gonna go against the Adnax. Saints come up with it. I don't, I'm not too sure what that hand signal was, Gordon. <laughs> Turning left, I think. <laughs> maybe it was a maybe it was a glove touched the touched the ball. I don't know. Yeah, that probably was. A, I don't know, Don. Either. Here's Aikman now. Moves in. Fakes a shot. Moves in closer. Takes a shot. Goes wide. On the board. Two Adnax in on one. The ball player. goes loose. Radcliffe tries to steal it. It's stolen by Harrison. Comes out in front. Harrison shoots. And I believe that hit the post, Don. Picked up by Stubbley. Stubbley lost the ball. 
Stubbly now. Cross to Aikman. Aikman. Cross to Harrison. Harrison did he set. Shoots. Missed the net. Now the Adnacks come up with the ball. Ball comes down to Blair Martin. Blair Martin played with the Saints last year in the intermediate. Ball comes out to Patterson. Got just over three minutes to go now. The third period. The Adnax content to run off the clock. Now very poor play by Radcliffe. He comes up with a loose ball though. Comes down two on two. Martin the beat. Radcliffe comes in, spins, comes in front, gets set. Oh, and he dropped the ball. He yeah, was getting set to shoot and he lost the ball. He looks at his stick. It's always the stick's fault, Don. And there's a call against Wallsmith as he worked over Radcliffe. Well, I would expect pretty soon the Saints might call a timeout, Don. Yeah, and sort of start pulling, their, time. start pulling their goaltender to try to get a get back in this game. But was with him. Adnax is playing. You pull the goaltender, and they're going to get the ball. Nice hustle by Fernquist to come up with a ball that Scott lost. Goes out behind. There's a pass in front. The shot. Oh, lost. Him. Nice stop by Burnett. And Don, you got to start thinking about your stars. And uh, big Garrett Burnett has played very well for the Adnax. Yeah, he's played good and good. Very solid. Stopped two or three breakaways. Here's the Adnax. Three on two. Right in front. Caster missed the net. Ball bounces. Picked up by Belgay. Here comes Belgay by himself. Nobody with him. Now here comes Downey. Belgay comes in. There's Downey open. Nice pass. Downey gets set. Shoots. Nice stop by the goaltender. Here's Belgay again. Gives it out to Sanch. Sanch getting set. Sanch doesn't shoot. Sanch was in a position to shoot. And there's a, probably a rookie mistake there too, Don. Now he they works his way down. in. Not much time left. Takes a shot. Missed the net. Ball bounces loose. Bardi, there's an interference call. It's going to go, go against the goaltender, Burnett. Yeah, Burnett's in the game, though. He likes to play that way. He'll, he'll rough up behind the goal. Play underway as Downey's got the ball. Brad Downey gives it off to his brother. Mark, Mark shoots, scores! Mark Downey from Brad Downey. And there's the Downey boys connecting, Don. And that's Mark Downey's second goal. Big Brad Downey's first point, I believe, is the same. The goaltender is a little upset because he's calling for inter. He's complaining about the interference call. Here come the replay. Mark Downey, three. I think that's he's got four points now. Beautiful goal. Yeah, beautiful. Brad Downey. 11-10. Now. 17-57. Air again, Don. The faceoff so critical. Radcliffe is in that faceoff circle. They battle for it. And it's picked up and uh, thrown away by oh, Butler. But the Saints are going to get the ball with 1.59 to go in this lacrosse game, junior A lacrosse game from the Poco, or from the Coquitlam Sports Center. 11 to 10 for the Adnax. Scott in behind. Comes out from behind. Gives it to Butler. Butler walks out into the middle. Now he picks up a little speed. Cuts over. Fires. His shot goes wild into the corner. Got, still got 15 seconds on the shot clock. Jake Lawson has it. Scott's open. Scott misses the pass. Butler picks the ball up. Gets set. Fakes. Getting set. Still got the ball. Shoots. Stopped by Burnett. Murray picks up the ball. And the, uh, I'm sure the Adnax now, Don. Calling the timeout. The Adnax are calling the timeout. It's a good call. 124 left and they're they're winning so they, they want to be able to hold on to it and not take a wild shot. Well it's 11-10 lacrosse game and I'm sure coach Frank Nielsen's telling his Adnax to use the 30 seconds. Take a shot when you get close to the end of the 30 seconds. We see some of the fans here at tonight's lacrosse game. And Gordon they remember the last game this is exactly what it was with two seconds left. Yeah. They tied it up, and there's no overtime in junior lacrosse this year. Well, what happened that first game was the, several Adnax took shots with about 10 seconds to go, and the uh, Saints got the loose ball, moved it down, and passed it to uh, Morgan, who was on the crease, and popped it in with two seconds to go. So this is going to be very important possession here. I expect the uh, Saints will pull their goaltender if they get the ball back. Neufeld's got the ball. Saints got their ball hockey crew out there, I guess you'd call it. The guys, they want, they're out there to try to get the ball. I'm sure they'll change to their offensive players. Here's Walker. 
Dishing off to Neufeld. Neufeld. They're using that clock, Don. It's down to four seconds. There's a pass over, wide open. Oh, nice stop by Stidoff. He got his glove on that. That ball was going in. Last minute. Wow. Shooter was wide open in front of the net. Now, here comes the... Belgay comes out. Penner. Downey. Big Brad Downey and, and Shantz, which is a little surprising. There's a bad pass by Belgay. That's a little surprising. Shantz is out there as a rookie. And you've got Radcliffe sitting on the bench. So there's 30 seconds to go, Don. Here's the situation again. They are going to have to, I don't know, the, the Saints should call a timeout here if they get the ball. Down to 10, there's only going to be about 11 seconds. If the Saints get the ball back, there's the pass. Now they should call a timeout. Yeah, they, they are call calling a time, timeout. Yeah. 16 seconds, the goaltender, I'm sure, will come to the bench. 30 and second timeout, Parker <laughs> Great right down the the wire. Going right down yeah. the wire. 16 seconds, one goal difference. So the Saints will try to get that one good shot, and uh, I'm sure they'll put all their top shooters out there. And if the uh, Saints could pull this off and tie this game, they would, Don, they would remain undefeated. <laughs> it would be a huge point for them. I think it would be very disappointing for the Adnex if they played extremely well, and I think they have the better team on the night. But uh, in the end of the game, it doesn't really matter how you played. If you get a point, you get a point. That's right. So we'll see now. The Adnax are sending out Baltzer, one of their top checkers. Murray. Wall Smith, who is a rookie. Neufeld. And Gaster. So they've got one rookie out there. Now, there goes the Saints. They've got uh, Lawson with the ball. Passes off to Brad Downey. The 10 seconds now, they got in each other's way. Butler, got to move the ball. There's a bad pass, he handed it away to Murray. And that's going to be the ball game, though Lawson doesn't quit. And Murray puts it in the open goal. And that's One the cross game. Left to go the bad cross pass game. by Butler Ten. cost uh, the uh, Saints a chance to tie this ball game. So the final score, the Coquitlam Adnax 12. Poco Saints 10. And Gordon, I picked as my my three stars uh, from Poco, number eight, Piaz Bardi. I, I believe that he, he only got one goal, but he's got at least four assists. And from the Adnax, uh, Jeff Radcliffe, the first star, number two Poco, star. Number eight, and the third star, the star Chris Poco, 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 Number nine. Good picks, Don. Um, and the third star from Poco, number 13. This means the Adnax even their record at three and three. And uh, Move within one point of the Saints, who drop to three, one, and and uh, two. So the Saints have a big game tomorrow night against the Sam Belly. So the next game we have on TV for you will be on June the 17th from the Coquitlam Center Sports Center. We'll have the WLA game, and Don they play a little differently. They play four quarters, old style lacrosse. A four quarters instead of three periods. It'll be the Coquitlam Adnax against the powerful New Westminster Salmon Bellies, who have them undefeated right now. And then again on June the 28th, we'll have these two teams. And if it's anything like tonight's game, yeah. the fans will be in for a real treat. So from the Quantum Sports Center, this is Gordon Stidoff along with my color man, Don Scott, saying good night.